Hi everyone, this is Casey at BB Blythe Company. Um, today I'm going to make a video showing you how to assemble your doll, specifically how to do sleep eyes. This was a requested video um, by one of our viewers, so I'm going to show you how we do that today. So when you take your Blythe doll apart, you'll notice that there's a tiny spring that holds the back plate here to the front plate, which um, is one of the parts on the eye mechanism. And you take this spring off when you open the doll. Now you can put the spring back and your doll will be more like an original Blythe where the eyes change and then snap back open to a new pair of eyes. But a lot of customizers like to give their doll sleep eyes, meaning that the eye lids stay closed um, when the doll when, after you pull the string and then you pull another string to snap the eyelids open and reveal the new eye. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today. So what you need are two strings. Now this is the trickiest part. Um, it's really hard to find uh, good options of string that's thin enough because one of the strings has to be threaded through this part of the eye mechanism. I'm not sure if you can see it very well, um, but you're probably familiar with it if you're attempting to do this. So it's also very important what side you put the knot on. So the, the thread needs to go through um, the little opening that is domed to the other side that's flat and that's where you will have your knot. So I use the thinnest uh, cord that I can find. This is the brand that I have um, right now that works really well. Um, there's two thicker ones and then two thinner ones which I've been using. Um, not so pretty colors but it's less aggravating. The other string it really doesn't matter because it will go through this hole which is pretty large and you can pretty much fit anything through there. So first what you want to do is cut it with some sharp scissors and then I use a lighter to kind of burn up and down uh, to kind of stiffen the, uh, the string so that it can fit through more easily. And then you're going to, as I said, thread it through this side and it will come out um, on that side and you're going to tie a knot, a good knot, maybe a couple times. And then I always trim it off. And then I also burn the knot. This will make the plastic in, in the cord uh, bond together and it gives it a little more protection so that it doesn't come undone at some point in your doll. So that's going to be your first string. At this point, you can put the mechanism back into the doll um, because that string is the hardest part to get in and it's easier to get in when the eye mechanism is out. So go ahead and put your mechanism back in. Um, then you're going to put your T-bar on which has already been trimmed. If that does not make sense to you, let me know and I can make a video showing you more about that. And you'll have to screw in the T-bar. So now at this point, you're going to take your other string and um, I don't know that it matters which side you string this one through, so I'm just going to do it the same side that we did the other one. Now this string is not plastic coated, it's uh, like paper coated. So this is not a string that I would want to burn, it can set on fire. So we're just going to trim it with some sharp scissors. And now you have your two strings. The other thing I want to mention is make sure your strings are extra long, longer than you think that you want because um, when you start beading them or adding charms at the end, uh, 
sometimes you make mistakes or you have to undo them and your your string keeps getting shorter and shorter until you can't use it anymore so now that we have those through we're going to be able to put put the doll completely back together so um, this part first what you're going to want to do first what i do is get the scalp on and as you know there is a little screw that goes inside the scalp so the easiest way that I found is to put the screw in there it takes sometimes a couple tries put the screw in there um, line everything up as best you can with the hole and then what I do I hope you can see this is I go ahead and screw it in a little bit into the hole even though things aren't really aligned yet just to hold it in place because that screw is always falling out and then get your scalp lined up and then you can go ahead and screw it all the way in okay you can see it in there then you're gonna put the back plate on, but your strings need to thread through the back plate. Now, originally the string comes through here, but at this point we have two strings and most likely they will not both fit through that hole. So I usually put one of them through there, probably the smaller one, whichever one fits, and the other one can go through that little square part. You do have to be careful that in the, f that, um, as you use the doll, as you pull the strings, uh, you don't wear them down to the point where they fray or break. Then you'll have to change them, which is not a big deal, but it is if you um, are selling your doll to someone who doesn't know a lot about life. So once your strings are threaded through, you can match up your back plate. We also need to put the body in at this point. So I haven't actually prepared the body. So we're just gonna put it in. I'm using a Pure Nemo Extra Small. I haven't put the rubber band on it yet that I usually do, but we're just gonna put it in there for now to see how the eyes work. So she's snapped together. Let's uh, pull our strings. They have sleep eyes and they open. So you pull the one string, closes her eyes, changes them, pull the other string to open them. So this doll is almost done. She will be available soon for adoption. Thank you for watching our videos. If you have any suggestions of videos for the future, uh, let us know. Thank you.